The purpose of a safety audit is to allow employees to apply their skills and to evaluate employee training. Safety audits can occur multiple times a semester and they can occur at any time. If you are involved in a safety audit, you are expected to conduct yourself just as you would during an emergency situation. Student employees will be evaluated on their ability to apply skills learned from American Heart Association CPR and first aid courses and from the UND Wellness Center Safety Program Manual. Employees receive safety training during their CPR and first aid courses and during their team meetings. Students can review their safety protocol in the UND Wellness Center Safety Manual and with their supervisor. We will now watch an example of a safety audit involving chest pain. Oh, my friend passed out in the gym. Okay, I'll Notice all the FM delegates responsibilities to the GE and FEs, ensuring he or she is available to make decisions and to provide care. This is the UND Wellness Center, 801 Princeton Street. We have someone that's fallen unconscious. We need an ambulance ASAP. FE, can you bring the AED to the gym, please? Okay, I'm grabbing the AED right now. I'll be right there. Make use of radio or face-to-face -face communication to make sure all employees are aware of the situation and the responsibilities. Hold on, it's in here. Oh. Each employee moves with a sense of urgency but does not cause alarm with the guests. Again, concussions. Notice how the employees conduct themselves during the scenario. The facility manager is ultimately responsible to handle all emergency situations per the Wellness Center safety protocol. Notice how the FM delegates responsibilities to the GE and FEs, ensuring he or she is available to make decisions and to provide care. At the conclusion of the audit, everyone involved will participate in a debriefing to discuss successes and areas for improvement. Remember, safety audits play an important role in keeping our patrons safe. Take them seriously. If you have further questions about your area specific responsibilities or the purpose of a safety audit, you can contact your supervisor or the safety program manager. Thank you and have a super safe day.